Hi, I'm Meredith. Welcome to My Yoga Rebel, your take anywhere, do on the beach, do in the hotel room, do at home yoga studio that fits in your pocket. This is Joyce. She's the modification chica of the day. Everybody say, hey Joyce. Hello. This is Amy. Amy is going to help you through some middle of the road modifications. So if you're somewhere in between, then you want to keep your eye on Amy. And also, Amy is going to throw out some nutrition information about potato chips <laughs> and other vegetables today because Amy was a nutritionist. So that's another, that's a little known fact about Amy that is kind of handy. So today we'll throw out some questions for her and um, she can give us all some tips. Good stuff. Not so chips, but tips. Tips, yeah. She's not giving you no <laughs> chips. There'll be no chips. Unless they're veggie chips and then she might be down with that, right? Maybe. See that? So you can be a couch veggie. Or a couch potato. I'd rather be a couch veggie. Like the asparagus. I'd rather be a asparagus. Yeah, I'm gonna be an asparagus with the great hair. All right. <laughs> so I did have a client one time that says, like, I'm a banana, and I was like, I'm an asparagus, is what they're telling me. So whatever. All right, we're in mountain pose. We're gonna leave our vegetables on the plate for now. Okay. Except for the walnut, which is not a vegetable, it's a nut, and you're gonna put it between your butt cheeks and you're gonna squeeze it. And for people who get confused about it, it's not a real walnut, it's an imaginary walnut. It can be any kind of nut you like, but just don't stick a real nut between your cheeks and then write me a letter about it, because that's not what, that's not what we're doing. They're imaginary. It's, a, it's just something to get you to keep your, like I want it, okay? All right, so we're in mountain pose, we're happy mountains, we're gonna start just rolling those shoulders back. Big relaxing circles. We want two more. Right here, we're gonna start pulling it forward. And two, and three. Got two more here, just like that. One more. And give them a little wiggle. Wiggle those fingers out, circle the wrist, get everything prepared. And most of all, breathe and relax. We're gonna inhale up. Hold, reach for the ceiling. Hands are gonna go right behind the head. Pull. That belly to spine, we're gonna come forward halfway. This is a good morning. Bring it up. Squeeze that walnut and drop it into chest expansion. Open up. And again, inhale up. Reach, hands behind the head. Take it into that good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time of day you're doing it. And into the chest expansion. Maybe three more, just like that. Reaching up. Exhale here. Forward, up, walnut cracking, chest expanding, yoga five, right here, two, and behind the head, and four, chest expansion, last time, up, and behind the head, remember to keep those elbows open, don't want to crowd into your face's business, and the chest expansion, Hold that chest expansion. Really relax. Two more nice deep breaths. Breath is the stuff alive. Really breath and water. Relax that off. Right arm, take it across. Big stretch. That lateral bend here. street corner that can play anything, hold an arch. We play our yoga mats like other people play drums and pianos. Into that tabletop from here. Nice straight back. Really pull that head and tailbone apart. Arms are part of it. We just lengthen the lever, but we're gonna take it from here into our gorilla. Crazy, it's like crooked place that. Uh, we all have our issues, people. We all have our issues. Drop it down into that rag doll. So heavy. Yeah. 
Palms on the mat, step to down dog. Lifting up with the rear, we're going into plank flow. I'm gonna ease it and up. Two, tempo, match it with your breath, whatever pace you can do. Two more times, get those shoulders warm and holding. Very nice, let's walk that forward back to that rag doll. Head is heavy. Every time you're in a rag doll, your head is pointing down towards the mat. Reverse swan dive up. Sit in your chair. Chairs. But sometimes we can't decide up, down, and we're gonna do a little chair flow, so we're gonna dip it up and into the chair. Up. Right here, we're gonna stay in our chair. Squeeze those thighs, hands are coming into prayer pose. Let's twist it over to that right side. Twist it over. Drop your ear down a little bit lower to the mat. Inhale, center yourself. Squeeze the legs. And up to arch. Big as arch as you can take. Really pushing the hips forward. Nice back strengthener as well. Inhale, back to your chair. Palms are pressing in. Do that, we get a little arm activation. Biceps working. Let's twist it over to that other side. right foot, step it back into our crescent lunge. So that can also be a straight leg lunge on the ball of your foot, or we can start lowering that knee. You wanna keep that head nice and upright. Uh, the head is balancing something important to you that you don't wanna drop. Inhale up with the hands. Forward full to the mat, step to down dog. Chaturanga. Love chaturangas. Turn the feet, bring it back up. Into down dog, walk that out a little bit. Walking, walking. One more knee chill and hold. Right here, we're gonna pull the knees into the chest just a little bit. Squeeze it in, activate a little bit deeper into that core. Inhale, let's walk the feet in. Walk it, keep a little bend in the knees if you can. Still gonna work a little bit more forward. Get your rag doll, wiggle that out. And relax, gorilla. Back is strong. Reverse swan dive up into that arch. Palms are together. back into that crescent lunge or straight leg lunge. Feels good, Jenna. Inhale up. Stretch your 
Push that out, palms to the mat, step to down dog. Push that rear up so high, as high as you can get it, and chaturanga. Walking it to your ragdoll. And then relax, ragdoll. Head is heavy. Fingertips are on the mat. That right arm is going to reach up. Like it's high five in the sky. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Put if you need some knee bend there. That's totally cool. Inhale, release it down. Wiggle it out. Relaxing. Other side, take it up. And relax it down. Gorilla. Try to make it a little bit stronger. Engage a few more muscles. Reverse swan dive up. Bring those legs together if they're not and sit in your chair. Booties are tucking down low. Like a ludicrous song. All right, let's twist back over to that right side. Get over there. I'm going to open the hands now. Okay, so that's up to you. It's a choice. that you want by sitting on it now do you? Not with potato chips. <laughs> Twinkies, ho-hos. Are those nutritionally sound <laughs> foods, Amy? Definitely not. <laughs> 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 so 
to the lower if you can and hold for that last five, four, three, you got this. Two hands up and take it down, step out, downward facing dog. Chaturanga to up dog. I don't know about you, but my triceps aren't waving at anybody else. They're not even waving at people I do know. I'm not that friendly. <laughs> not from behind. I don't, want, I don't want things waving at anybody. No jiggle here. Turn the feet, bring yourself to plank. Full or modified, remember modifies our knees. Joyce is showing you how to do it. She's rocking that, isn't she? Up. Move your rear end backwards. Downward facing back. Pull the knees into your chest and hold. Pull it a little bit more. Really push that. Okay, modify but stay right here. But we can amp it up by staying in this position and start lowering down. Bring the knees towards the mat. Just shy and pull it back up. Okay, we're gonna do a few more just like that. <laughs> Two more. Right here, we squeeze those knees and chest back together. Last one. Hover, hover, hover. And lift. Straighten the legs out to down dog, walk that out a little bit. Inhale, we're gonna walk that forward. There's a cigarilla. It's just kind of like a happy place after that, right? Can you listen? Can you listen? Is that the word we're using there? That's the word. <laughs> Reverse one time up. We're gonna bring those hands to heart. Pose. And we're going to step back left into that crescent lunge. She's so cute. <laughs> With her glistening. It's a good thing she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. I just fell out of my <laughs> We have a deep affection for each other. Take it down a little bit lower. <laughs> she sweats like a lady. <laughs> Bring it up. Woo! Armpits are glistening. And take it down. Step out to down dog. Shout it wrong, get a hug dog. And you get them to lose their breath. Give they can't shake. speak. <laughs> Turn the feet up to plank. Pull or modify. My feet are close together. I'm gonna step out, out, in, in. Out, out, two, two. Perfect. A few more. Keep your butt down, Amy. Last time. Hold that in. Very nice. Up to down. Walk your dog just a little bit. And then let's walk it forward. Ragdoll. Give those wrists a little relief. Circle them. Keep your head down low. Inhale, let's round it up. I hate to tell you this, but you're kind of cute too. So I don't know that you have any room to talk. <laughs> We're going to step it out wide. Okay? And you got a five point star kind of attitude. Everybody should be a star, right? For their own little drama. I'll play no drama. Star of your own musical. Alright, let's bring those hands in right here. And we're going to sit down. Okay? Checking the knees. Again, they should be over the heels, never popping out over toes. And no matter what kind of thing you're doing, you want to keep the knees safe. Hands come up, and we're going to rotate over, elbow to right knee, center, other side, and center. Two more in each direction. Fold. 
Okay, we're gonna take it back over here. This time we're gonna open it up. And as I do that, I'm gonna straighten up with that left leg, that opposite leg. Core's engaged nice and tight, don't forget. Okay, now I'm gonna straighten up with the other leg too. Okay, so just hiked it straight, kept everything else the same. Inhale, and bring yourself up to five-pointed star. Use some muscles to do that, feels really nice. Stretch that out. Let's go hand angle, hand knee, hand shin. Head's a little heavier. Inhale, and we're gonna bring it back up. Now come up strong. Use all of those wonderful muscles. Bring the hands into prayer. Sit back down. A little lower. Hands behind the head. Okay, now we're gonna take the opposite. So we're gonna take here and up and here. Got it? Go as far as you can, don't force anything. Every time, stop in the center purposely. Two more each direction. I think I'm listening now too. And center. Hold, okay. oh, we're back to the middle. We're going over here. Get it there. We're going to open it up. Straighten it up at that right side. That right leg is now straight leg. Inhale. Left leg straight. It's a beautiful thing to put strength in the body. You feeling it, Joyce? I'm feeling it. Feeling it? Alright, we're going to feel it really good here as we pull back up to that five pointed star. Inhale, and so up. Ta da! And stay it was like magic, a magical moment. It's a little heavy. There it is. Engage that core and get a grip on that walnut. Inhale, up to five point star. Those come back in. Palms come back in. We're gonna sit it down. Now right here, we want to make sure that we've got our head kind of bounce over the tailbone. We don't want to be like over here. Unless there's something down there that you drop, like your walnut, and you bring it back up. Otherwise, it'll stay right here. A little bit longer, drop a little lower if you can. Keep those knees open as much as possible for three. For two, inhale, exhale up, triangle pose, modification. Belly's pulling to spine, nice and strong. Okay. Bring it into tabletop. Nice job, ladies. Hold your tabletop a little bit longer. Don't spill the drinks. And release down. Hands to the mat. Head is heavy right in the center. Let it all the way down. Palms are on the mat. Out by your face. We're going to step our legs together. Plank. 
Got that nice clamp on. Down dog on the exhale. Push it up, walk it a little bit. Walking and walking your dog is also called Meredith Let You Rest. <laughs> right? So that's one of the reasons we love that. And then walk it forward all the way. Into your rag doll. Head is so heavy. Watch your feet, make sure they're still close together. If they're not, get them there. Inhale, and let's round it up on the exhale. If you ever lose a cat that's an indoor cat, I have a tip. Take their used cat litter and throw it all over the place. Do it after dark so your neighbors don't see you. They will find their way home. How did you learn that tip? Um, somebody gave it to me on Facebook. Social media. How do we know how to do anything anymore? Social media. <laughs> yeah, I did it after dark though. I mean, if you're going to go dump used cat litter in all your neighbors' yards, you don't want anybody seeing you, right? <laughs> and we're going to relax that off. Walking it forward just a little bit. Okay, so we want to be on 
both mats. We're gonna take it to the right side. We're gonna start with the modified side plank. So we put the hand right here, okay? So we're all in the mod, the mod squad right here. But I'm going full, I'm gonna kick it out. Really lift up, we don't want to be jerky planks. Inhale, we got to bring it back to that mod, so here we go. And I'll modify again, inhale, bring it up, all the way over to that other leg, and stretch. Lovely, we'll bring that back. Relax the hand down, shake it out. Puts a lot of pressure on our wrist into that kneeling camel, which we're calling its side plank rest pose, is the kneeling camel. Okay. Elbows are drawing back, because it's a camel, not an angel. Coming back up to neutral, going modified first on this other side. Hand down underneath the shoulder, point the foot out, reaching up. Okay, boom, you're in a modified side plank. Joyce is gonna stay there and I'm gonna take it full. Really keep it lifted nice and strong. I'm gonna stack that because my feet are sweaty. My feet are glistening. <laughs> I'm so glistening. Very nice, core's engaged, get your walnut, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're going back to the modification right here. Knee comes back, inhale, bring it up strong, using some core, all the way to that other side. Stretch it away. Coming back to neutral, hands are restful, legs coming back into camel, heels are squeezing. I'm going to bring the hands out though. This camel is a booty camel now, so it's going to drop back, squeeze, and up, back, squeeze those glutes. Are you squeezing, girls? Squeezing. Nice. Loving. Touching. Squeezing. We'll do two more. Really grip it. One more time. Hold, and if you want to, we're going out to a little bit deeper camel. This is a vice filled paradise. How do we break the ice? Inhale, bring it up. Use your core, use your glutes. Bring those legs together. Drop the booty. Swing it around to the front. Inhale up, and exhale down. That was your zen moment. All right, bring it back up. Feet are lifted. Let's pull those knees in and push it out. Two. Try to keep your calves parallel. Press out with your heels so you don't get a lot of quad activation. Five more. Four. Three. Two, nice work. One, pull it back, butterflies. Gonna crawl those butterfly wings out, and we're gonna forward fold down into my glistening feet. Okay. That's a little heavier. And a little heavier. Inhale, let's round that up. Shake it out. Open your beast sit. Inhale up. Coming to the center. Reach out. Reach out wherever you can. And then relax it, okay? Don't round with your spine first. Reach out first. Coming forward from the hips. That's where you're going to get the flexibility increases.
Inhale, let's round that up. Look at the floor was sticky, I didn't like the way it felt. We're gonna look over at that right side. Hey baby, miss me? Inhale up, forward fold, reach out for it, lay it down, relax out. Inhale, let's bring that up strong. And sit the other one. And exhale into it. your back so there's no rounding. Put that right foot on top of the left foot. Inhale up. Right hand on top of the left hand as we pull the pull. Reaching out. I'm going to grab my big toes and give them some squeezing. Loving. Touching. It's a journey tribute class. It's like glee. <laughs> Without all that glee nonsense. Glisten. Yeah, it's not glee. It's glisten. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right out there. I do not glisten. I sweat. <laughs> and it rejuvenates your skin and keeps you looking young and youthful. So you should sweat every day. Or glisten every day. I don't care what you want to call it. Do it. Then drink a lot of water to replenish yourself. Now we start rounding up and rounding up. Happy faces. And this leg is just going to drop. I'm going to take that opposite shoulder without having bad posture. We're going to rotate into it. So I want you to keep your head, chest lifted, open, and reach around. Relaxing into it. 
a little deeper. We're going to release and round that up. Stack in the vertebrae. Very important to activate each little muscle all the way up. Sitting up tall, left leg is going to go over. Okay. Inhale up. Remember that the hands are going to be just like that. Left over right, reaching out. A little deeper into it if you can. Really giving in. Body is warm. We got nice and warm muscles. You can get a little bit deeper into the stretch that way. We're going to release and round that up. And draw the knee up. Foot stays crossed over the leg. Get that good posture. We're going to rotate, reaching around. Sitting tall. Core is engaged. We're going to bring it up. Rotating around. Opening to the other side. Up. Get up as much as you can and circle it around. Both directions always and sit a little taller. That feels really good through the back of the hip and back into the glute. And release that off. Slide it out and drop back to butterfly. Sitting up tall. Happy butterflies. Well, this is. Relax that off. I'm going to turn. My feet are going to go this way on the mat. Sliding forward just a little bit so there's plenty of room for my head to come. Inhale. And we're going to round that down. All the way down. Slow and easy. Feels really good. Walk the feet in just a little bit closer. And we're going to straighten up with that right leg. Right leg is straight. Reach the hands over the head. And we're going to inhale here. We're going to exhale. We're going to bring it together. We have three more. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Rest that other leg, straightens up, and here we go. Inhale, exhale, bring it together. <laughs> Last two, and one. Bring it down. Go ahead and bring the knees up a little bit into the body. Stretch that out. Rock a little bit. Toes can wiggle. And then bring the feet back down. Knees are bent into that bridge. Lift up and hold your bridge. Squeeze. Lift it up a little higher. It's a big bridge. It's like the high five. Round it down, that feels good. Each vertebrae releasing into the mat. Take time with that. All that tension out. Love that feeling. La 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 la. Now we're going to go ahead and straighten that left leg out on the floor. And the right leg's coming up. 
And I'm going to walk with it just a little bit. So basically we have the same thing. We're going to open and reach. Three more times. Two. One. Bring it down. Switching that out. Bring that left leg up. Get a hold of it. Say, you ready? It says, I am so ready. Here we go. Open. Last three. And two. And one. Bring it down. Both knees coming back in. Knee hugs. Little ball. Rock it side to side. Release the feet down, back to that bridge, lifting up. Now I'm going to bring my hands underneath my hips and get a little bit higher on my bridge. That's a choice. It's an option. It's an add-on, if you will. Round that down, but first we take our hands and lift underneath the hips. Be hard to round down on those. All the way down. Lovely stuff. Wiggle your rear end around in your mat. Just because it feels good. All right, mats don't care. They like that kind of thing. They're freaky like that. All right, so we're in our little ball, and we're gonna do the double A. We're gonna take it out and bring it in. Strong. We got these last two and one, and you're already in a ball, so just relax into it. Relax into it. Wiggle your toes. Rock side to side just a little bit. And we're going to bring it down. All right, so we've had our basic bridge, and we've had our slightly elevated bridge, so either one of those is still an option. Joyce is going to stay in our basic bridge just so you know what to do. Amy's gonna do whatever Amy wants because she's like that. <laughs> but we're gonna have a chance to do that full the wheel or a back bend. So if you want to try that, then you know you should always try it because one day you're gonna lift up and then you're gonna be so excited you'll probably scream and fall back down. That's okay because you did it. Fingertips, what they need to do is they come around and they should be pointing to your body, okay? You can't really, they don't need to be out here. You need them to be in pretty tight to your shoulders and pointing. You also want to walk your feet in a little bit closer to your butt, okay? It's hard to lift up if they're way out here. You need them in. Whenever you lift up, your core is still going to do the pulling, but you have to push with your upper body too. But this is a core thing. You need to use your core. So everybody ready? Inhale. And exhale up. Chin to chest, lower down, use control, aim for the shoulder blades, that's important. And then you're just in your basic roll down. How cool is that? Knees in. And give yourself a hug. And we're going to take that right hand onto that left knee. We're going to drop it over into the twist. A little modified twist and stretch that out. And we'll look and see what my back hand is doing. I want to keep my shoulders on the mat here. modifications let that lower back flatten just because that's really good after doing a wheel really want to get that back in a neutral position three ways to work the spine you do the anterior curve the posterior curve and then you always want to go into something neutral plank is a neutral alignment back bend is obviously very interior a little ball is when we curled up we did the posterior so all right we're going to ease that back in knees are coming together 
opposite direction, okay? So we got that left hand pulling the right knees over. And we're just relaxing. Relax a little deeper. Let your body enjoy that. Inhale. And center yourself. Pull those knees in a little bit closer. Rock side to side. Dead bug. Back is flat, chin is to chest. Feet are parallel with the ceiling. And sink a little deeper into that, with that lower back. Find a little bit more relaxation through the mat. And bring the bottoms of the feet together. And take it down to that butterfly modification. The chicks like to think of as goddesses because, you know, we all have our inner goddess. Some of us have our like inner MMA fighter and a goddess, whatever, you can be yourself. So a couple weeks ago, Joyce and I got tricked into going to a Mary Kay party. <laughs> yes. And I'm just gonna say that we had a good time and their mascara is pretty cool. I did like the mascara. But they just, we, they just the look on our faces when we figured out we were at a Mary Kay party, I wish there was a picture of that. <laughs> they used us for our face. Our they did. Because we have, we give good face. <laughs> Boom. All right, bring the knees together. Slide those legs up really nice and long on the mat. All right, we're going to take that right arm, we're going to bring it across the body, the left arm is going to come up, give it a little hug, and we're going to circle that wrist around. And we're going to reverse that. And we're going to open the hands really, really wide, and wiggle the fingers, and stretch it, and make some little fists, and then give yourself a hug. Both hands on the shoulders, chin to chest, love yourself. Relax that off. We're going to switch it. Other hands coming across. Really heavy. And we're going to circle that wrist around. And take it in the other direction as well. Open the hand really wide. Wiggle those fingers. Stretch it out. Make a few fists. And give yourself another hug. Those arms down by your side. Shift around. Okay, you just, all you beach yoga people, you're on the, on the mat, on the sand now, and I'm super jealous, so I'm gonna go there in my head. Eyes are closed, breath up deeper. Next one, lay all the tension and the stress.
you can feel free to stay right here and not move because I don't blame you if you don't really want to. But we're going to inhale and bring those hands together. And exhale down. Good job. Again, inhale. Reach, exhale. Grab some gratitude. I want you to pull that into your body. I want you to feel grateful for the strength. And I'd like to thank you for joining us for all the loving, touching, and squeezing that we had today. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.